is for an unfortunate young man. Is this on? I think so. By the name of Lord Beaton. You may have heard of Lady Charlotte. Well, this is a man of the same ear. Beside the road, above the hill, the lonely mansion standeth still. And now and then a car doth pass, and slows or parks upon the grass. Will on there dwelt within those doors, who lord who played the flute. His face was bright, a purple red, it matched the curtains round his bed. All day long he blew and whistled, ill-fated lord beat root. The strange enchantment from his birth had been his father's source of mirth. When the gaudy puffed abortion his wife had offered as a son, that dreadful fatal day, the father cursed this ill reverse. Upon the child he placed this curse, that he should whistle or the hearse would carry him away. All day he puffed and blew and trilled. Young ladies came and listened thrilled, but not a note, not a beast. Beat was missed to glance at faces sweet. Their charms were wasted. No applause could part his lips from that flute top. No female wiles could make him stop. He knew death's sighs would reap his crop if once he should pause. Then one day the sunlight glowed upon an MG sports car on the road. Old number one, its engine flowed and purred like music as it rode in time to beat Ruth's flute. From the road across the river came flashes of the rearview mirror. Vroom, vroom, it roared as it came hither towards the Lord Beat Root. He paused his flute. He left his tomb. He made three paces through the room. He saw the upholstery's bloom, the silver exhaust with its clume. He dropped at once the cursed flute. His sheets of music floated wide. The hearse has come for me, he cried. <laughs> Thank you. Right, now it's somebody else's turn.